Hey, and welcome to, I guess, just the tip. Although it's sort of a full-on making tutorial, but it's all about combining stuff from other just the tips and adding a bit of particle know-how. How about we agree you just don't care what I call it, and I just show you how to make this twister. Tornado. Well, there's a movie called Twister, so if it's good enough for Hollywood, damn it. Here's my comp, and I've created a floor using a 3D layer with a checkerboard effect. Now I'm going to go to Layer, New, Null Object, and use this to pilot my twister. I'll make it a 3D layer. And then I'll go back to Layer, New, and make a solid. Make sure it's comp sized and click OK. Now, if you see my tutorial linking CC Particle World to a 3D Null, then in that video I made a preset. If you haven't, watch it as it explains this next step. But in either case, a download link to this project and the expressions I use are in the description below. So I've now used expressions to link CC Particle World's producer to my 3D null object. And now I'm going to check the height of my floor by selecting it and tapping P to show the position keyframes. And then I'm going to set my null's Y position value to match. Then I'm going to set some keyframes for my null to move across the floor. And then I'm going to use this wiggle expression, also in the description, and add a bit of random movement to the X and Z axes. Now for my twister particles. Select the CC Particle World effect, and from the top down, I'll set the birth rate to 10. The longevity to 5. In Producer, I'll set Radius X and Z to be 0 0.005, and Radius Y to be 0. In Physics, I'll set the animation to Twirly. Velocity, drop that to 0 0.07. I do love the bizarre unit CC Particle World uses. And gravity to 0 0.02. And Twirly uses extra and extra angles. Set extra to 0 0.1 and extra angle to minus 1. Extra angle is the directional speed of the particles as they twirl around. So 1 is clockwise and minus 1 is anti-clockwise. Open up gravity and set the gravity vector to minus 1. And that's it for physics. In Particle, set the type to Faded Sphere. Leave the birth size, but up the death size to 0 0.8. And max out the size variation. Change the birth and death colours to dark and darker greys. And set the volume shader to about 70%. In Extras, you've got a light direction so you'll have to mess with that to get your shadows matching your scene. Looking good so far. Now let's add the debris around the base. Making sure the effect is selected, go to Edit, Duplicate. Tap on the title of the first effect and hit enter to rename it Debris. And then repeat for the copy and name it Twister. In Twister expand Extra and check the Composite with Original checkbox. And then turn off the effect for the moment. Now in Debris, again from the top down, drop the birth rate to 0 0.4. In Producer, set the Radius X and Radius Z value to 0 0.095. And in physics, change gravity to 0 0.003. Now in particle, change the type to a quad polygon. These are going to be our debris particles, so I want some sharp edges. Set the birth and death sizes to match, probably around 0 0.2. And set the size variation to 25%. And the max opacity to 100%. And now set matching browns for the birth and death sizes. 
and up the volume shader to 100%. Cool, but it looks a little like a Pixar test. So go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, CC Vector Blur, and drag this effect above Twister. Change the type to Constant Length, and set the amount to 15 and the property to Alpha. Cool. Now, turn Twister back on, and turn on Motion Blur for the layer. And one last touch. Duplicate the layer, select the top layer and tap enter and name it Twister. And on the second version, name it Damage. Solo this and the floor layer. From this layer, delete Vector Blur and the Twister CC Particle World, and set the birth rate to 5 and the longevity to 60. And in producer, set the radius X and Z to 0 0.095. Change the animation type to explosive, we don't want any movement here. Set the velocity and gravity to zero. In particle, change the type to faded sphere. Expand the opacity map and fill out the right hand portion, we don't want our particles fading out here. And set some really dark rays for both the birth and death colours. and set the layer's transfer mode to multiply. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I'm particularly pleased with the way the debris particles pass in and out of the main twister. I'd never got very far with CC Particle World for twisters before, but I stumbled across the beginnings of this and thought I'd share. If you found this useful, fantastic. Please let me know if you use this in your project. If you have any comments or questions, give me a shout too. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you know about the next tip.